from uh, from Germany again. Uh, it is said that Isa alayhi salam will descend on a white minaret in Damascus. What does it mean? It doesn't mean anything. Because <laughs> in the sense that none of these take, it doesn't mean anything. They take it literally. So we have proved repeatedly that Jesus Christ never ascended to heaven as uh, the medievalists think. So if he has not bodily risen, how can he bodily descend? And the white minaret they're talking about was not existent at the time of Rasulullah Sallam. So which white minaret did he refer to? It was non-existent. So only if this hadith, hadith is to be taken seriously, it only means a metaphorical reference to a white minaret. And the word white and minaret, both should be kept in view. The white is uh, a, a, a thing which is without blemish. So his message would be without a blemish. And minaret is a symbol of height which can be seen from far and wide. So only these two, two meanings can be read into it if the hadith is correct. And if it is correct, it cannot mean a physical reference to a minaret which does not exist. Another question which arises is the so-called manara al-badwa, al al-manara al al-badwa, al as some people say, does exist in the But who built it? When was it built? Who told the man who built it that this is the manara which is going to be the descending spot from the sea? So it's all imaginary. What sort of manara that is? Anybody could build any manara, Sharkhiya Damash, and say Jesus would descend here. So all this is just, uh, you know, unrealistic. Everything is unrealistic about it.